My next guest is a congressman who's had enough of the president's policies of picking winners and losers, and he's standing behind a bill that would repeal all energy department loans. Here now, California Republican congressman and good friend of the show, Tom McClintock. Congressman McClintock, always a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thanks for having me back, Judge. I right, say it ain't so because this is almost impossible to comprehend. Somehow, the federal government caused 730 million taxpayer dollars to get into the bank account of a Russian billionaire just because he's in the energy business? Can this be true? Yes, I'm shocked, just shocked, that there's crony capitalism going on at this establishment. I mean, this is what governments do. They take money from businesses they don't like, and they give it to money to businesses they do like. That's what's going on. Now, we're supposed to have a constitution to stand in the way of that kind of despotism, but uh, we, the people, have been a little lax in insisting that our elected officials abide by it. All right, so, so what can we do about it? When the Republicans ran Congress, they let President Bush do this under TARP, as well as his two stimulus plans. Now that the Democrats, or well, actually this energy bill occurred when the Democrats controlled both houses, they gave this power to Barack Obama. Is the Congress just going to sit back like a potted plant and give huge chunks of cash to the executive branch and say, you spend it on your friends however you want, and then complain when they don't like how he spends it? Well, they will until we, the people, stop them. It's just that simple. We had a, one of the great watershed elections in American history in 2010, in part uh, about this kind of behavior by government. But our Constitution, for some very good reasons, right. uh, uh, keeps us from, from shifting on the result of a single election. It takes a series of elections, so we've got a lot of unfinished business to take care of in 2012 before we're able to set things right. All right. What would your legislation do to try and stop the president and his folks from giving money to uh, people whose businesses are going down the drain like Solyndra or people who are worth billions like this billionaire in, in uh, Russia? Well, my bill, H.R. Uh, 2915, rescinds one of the stimulus programs, which was three and a quarter billion dollars of taxpayer money to be doled out to subsidize the transmission lines for renewable energy, uh, solar and wind. Uh, our measure simply says you need to stand on your own merit and stop tapping the taxpayers. If your projects are such a great idea, you should have no trouble attracting private capital to finance them. Right. And if they're not such a great idea, you've got no business tapping the American taxpayers. These, uh, th this particular program, by the way, doesn't even require the company to declare bankruptcy like Solyndra. All the company has to do is say, well, this isn't panning out the way we thought, and the taxpayers end up eating the difference. Before we go, we just have about half a minute uh, left. Are, are we doomed? Is whatever party that is in power just going to take taxpayer dollars and bribe the people with their own money? Or is there some structural, structural, institutional way that we can prevent this from happening, no matter who's in the White House and who runs the Congress? Look, the ultimate line of defense for our Constitution is the people who own it, we the people. And ultimately, that requires us to hold our elected officials accountable for this that they are casting. Uh, that's now starting to go on. We're watching the American people uh, engage at a level I've never seen before. And ultimately, I'm confident they will set things right. Congressman Tom McClintock, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Holiday bonuses.